am working on bonding with a new dog. There you go, buddy. This is Quincy in a previous video who's been called Mr. Rogers, but the owner chose to change his name. There you go. So he has some separation anxiety, and so I'm working on bonding with him both so that he has another person that he can bond to. Hi, and also so I can work with him even when his mom's not there. There you go. And this is great for any time you adopt a new dog to bond with them um, or a new puppy. And hi, hello. And so what I'm doing is I'm starting off with just hand feeding. And you can also do it with their name to help them learn their name. Quincy, what a good boy. Quincy, what a good boy. Quincy. In the beginning, I'm just going to plain feed it. And then I might start moving my hand around. Quincy. I'm going to say the name and then move with the food. Oh, who did it fall? I don't think there are any crumbs. Quincy. Especially if you have a dog who is more timid or shy, um, you're going to have to go really slowly with this. But for some dogs, especially young puppies, this is a great way to get them moving around you and teach them to focus on the movement and getting the treat instead of biting. So it's super handy for nippy puppies. So I'm going to pour out some treats in my cans and I'm going to stand up. I'm probably going to be headless in this video. Uh, all right, I'll try and bend down a little bit so you can see me if I find it. Oh, I keep so slobbery, it's stuck in my hands. Oh, are you ready? Find it. So I'm just gonna kind of toss treats around me. Find it. I'll throw it behind me. Find it. Good job. Can you in front? Find it. There we go. Find it. Oh, there it is. Find it. Oh, get it behind me. Good job. Now let's see if I'll do it between my legs. Ready? Find it. Oh, you went around. That's okay. You did say? Find it. Oh, good job. Find it. And this can really help build confidence around people. Find it. If they go through your legs. Oh, do you want to find a freebie? You can, you can do that. You can have a freebie. Ready? Find it. Lizzie. Find it. There you go. Go forward. Ready? Find it. So as you can see, he's not super 
super keen on going under my legs, and that's okay. I'm not going to make him. He can make the choice to go around. I didn't say he had to go under me. Hi, but it can make a fun game. Do you want to try another one? You want to try a couple more? Can I try a couple more? And as your dog gets more comfortable with you, or in this case, it's not that he's uncomfortable with me so much as he's uncomfortable with mom being missing, um, you can make a lot more games out of that. And that one can actually become a recall game. We can also work on walking over legs. Can you try it? Do you want to do it? Here, you want to find it? You want to find it? Oh, good boy. Can I find it? There you go. Find it. Find it. Oh, good job, buddy. You ready? Find it. Find it. And if you have a dog who's timid, I actually wouldn't even ask if they're ready. I would wait for them to turn it. Oh, good boy. Find it. To show me that they're ready for more. So here I'll just be quiet. Oh, good boy. And you do want to watch for any time you're petting. I would stay away from the head, especially if you don't know the dog very well. Um, trying to aim for chest and shoulders, but before he startled, because when he was kind of looking around trying to figure out if mom was coming back, um, hi. And two, I hadn't pet him yet today, so he, I guess, was not prepared for that. So do watch for any startle, uh, startle reactions like he did, or like any quick turning the head. So like right now, I won't touch him because he's very focused on listening. To where mom is but when he turns around then i will reach for more treats so i don't want to reward the staring i want to reward checking in with me good boy there we go timing is everything i know do you want to do a new one so if they're having fun with going over your legs you can work on going under a leg and i'll start with just one can you go and get it you want good job so first i'm just going to do free treats next to my leg that's been raised here and then I'll see if he'll go under with a little trail here. Nope, you're gonna go around. You do realize you have short legs and you can squish under, huh? No, are you so tall? Do you think you're so tall? And it's okay if they're not comfy going underneath. You can also, you know, grab a chair really quick here. And you can make yourself taller by putting your feet up on the chair. Can you do it this way? Especially if you have a bigger dog, this is how you would manage it. Good job, buddy. Also a great core workout. <laughs> Good job, ready? Can you find it? Good job, ready? Find it. So again, super funny, uh, fun for busy puppies. Hi, ready? Find it? Good job. Great for bonding with any dog. And dogs who are a little bit more cautious around people, you have to go really slowly with this. Again, he tends to be very outgoing if his mom is present. If she's not, he's like, where's mom? He bonded very quickly to her, um, and we're working on a bond with me so we can go on more training and adventures, huh? Those ears went fast, huh? Now are you looking are you looking for your are you looking for your mom, huh? Should we give you a break? So once he checks in with me, oh there's noises in the other room. Once he checks in with me, I will tell him all the time. But at this point, I need to let him investigate what's going on. He's off screen, wagging his tail, trying to see if mom's coming back. So if he turns towards me, then I'll get a treat and we'll have a session. And something you can do to help get their attention, I'm gonna take a big deep breath. Oh no, he's just too focused. Thought he was so focused. I know what a good boy you are. What a good boy. All right, all done. 